Hello kittens. Thanks for stopping by Pippa Jones Beauty. I am Pippa and this is the place where I like to get together with you and talk about beauty. Fragrance, makeup, skincare, and a little bit of this and that. Hey, did you know that Hourglass is having a 20% off kind of friends and family type sale? It's their VIP sale and if you sign up um, and subscribe to them, uh, subscribe to their email list, um, you get 20% off. So I thought, hey, let's dig into some of my Hourglass collection and uh, go down the Hourglass rabbit hole. Come along. All right, time for the try-on portion of this video. Um, today I just have on my basic essences, toners, mists, and I have um, serum and my light moisturizer. And I am going to go in today with a primer. And what primer am I gonna use? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use this as a priming spray. And I am going to use my Hydro Primer from Milk Makeup. It's a clear one, so people who do not like the white cast or too glowy of a primer lotion, that one's for you. Okay, I have my primer on. I'm gonna make it extra sticky with the Hourglass Veil Spray. And here we go. So first of all, I am going to go in with my Hourglass <laughs> There's a lot in that drawer. <laughs> um, this is my Hourglass Concealer. And I have the shade Sierra. Nope, Sepia. Sepia, close. Sometimes I need glasses more than I think. And I'm just going to do some basic concealing. Ooh, there's a lot of concealer. Might be too much. Um, and I'm going to go in with my fingers. It's been a little bit since I've used this concealer, but I definitely do remember that it was one that I really enjoyed. It seems very creamy and I didn't really have a lot of problems. It was with creasing underneath. It was one that I really used, you know, when it first came out for a really long time and then on and off. I find this Shiseido brush really helps me out in kind of getting that excess. Um, so a lot of people um, who follow Everyday Edit found out about this Shiseido brush from her. That's how I found out about it. If you haven't ever heard of her, which I'm sure if you are watching mine, you've heard of hers. Um, she's amazing. Um, so I have my concealer on and I think that I've gotten all the excess out, but I'm definitely going to smush that. A little bit more okay so I have concealed a bit my dark spots highlighted a little bit and I'm going to go in with the foundation and I have two shades of the foundation and I actually have two of nude I have nude and warm beige and I think what it was is I got the warm beige first of all and um, it was too it was too warm for me um, in the nude. But what I like to do, and I can't remember why on earth I have two of the same ones. Uh, what I like to do is um, this darker shade that was a little bit too dark for me, which is warm beige. I like to go in with that, like in my nose area, because I just abhor when I have light foundation that sits in those pores for some reason and I think that of my stick foundations I thought that this one was a pretty nice one um, you know it wasn't um, hard to work with it wasn't drying um, you know 
it wasn't overly creamy but I do believe if I remember from kind of comparisons with the Western Atelier stick and recently the Jones Road um, that this one definitely leaned a little bit more yellowy in all the shades so I do feel a little bit Like, I don't know if I have the exact best match for my skin, despite owning three of them. <laughs> but I remember that it is, you know, doing a nice job here. So there I have the Hourglass Foundation on. And... What I am going to do is I am going to take out a Radiant Bronze Light Shade and I'm going to use this for a little bit of contour bronzing type of a dealio. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of more dimension now back into my face. I'm using the Sonia G sculpt one. I'm gonna sculpt out after we kind of flattened out, corrected a bit. You know, this brush just fits so nicely in there. She also has a new bronzing one that is a beaut. Can't go wrong with her. And that just warms up and sculpts lovely. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Um, I'm going to use her Sculpt 3, which is a smaller one. Same thing, and I'm just going to do a little bit of helping to find that structure in my nose. And go up into above the crease. This got a little bit dark here, so I am definitely going to work with that there by going back in with my foundation brush. And blend that together a bit better and I'm going to go in with the highlight stick that I have in champagne flash and it's a very nice highlight stick a light gold I would say and I'm just gonna take that right onto my cheekbones like this Put a little bit on my finger, do that bridge of the nose, tip of the nose today. We're going to be a little bit glowy. The um, foundation, you know, it's definitely not a glowy luminescent type of foundation. So I definitely want to add a little bit more life and shine here. And so I like to do this part because I have a dimple and I don't like it emphasized that much. Spread that out. Rub it in the crease. Oh gosh. I totally forgot that I had a sample of the Hourglass Primer. <laughs> That's okay. We're just getting, playing with a couple of products here. This is the cream blush. And I have to say that this cream blush is absolutely, it's a beauty. Um, this is sacred and the thing is though my I broke my I broke mine and I don't think it's hourglass's fault I think it was me being in a rush one day and then I was trying to fix it so that it would work and it yeah like I totally screwed it up and that yeah that's why <laughs> it was me it wasn't hourglass whatsoever um, so I think to be able to use this baby, if I can't get her to work here, because I think it's just totally broken out, I guess I'm just going to dig into it and get what I can out of it. And um, if you've been following along with me, you know that I love to layer my blushes. And Hourglass's blushes are phenomenal. Look at that lovely cream blush that just gives you that glow of inner radiance because it sinks and blends all so well together with the rest of their products it just melts together it doesn't like sit on top of my skin and look gross and yucky 
um, that's what I like out of cream blushes. Maybe that's why I like cream blushes so much. I kind of think like it gives you, it look from within, looks very natural. You know, not powdery, overly done and gross. Um, and right now I'm feeling like my lips just look junky. So um, I'm going to take, I have two shades of their lip oil at night which is a lovely dark red one. You can kind of see it there. And then I have a lighter shade that is Cameo. Oh yeah, you pump these. So here is Cameo, and that's the one I'm gonna go with today. But I like this um, At Night. Is that what it's called again? At Night. At Night red and these um you know they're kind of like a lip gloss lip oil combo because they're not really as sheer i don't think as i find most lip oils to be but um they definitely have more pigmentation i think and they last longer and i enjoy them i enjoy them a lot they give you good hydration they're you know a little bit tacky um but not as glossy, not as like sticky, gross, glossy as a lip gloss sometimes is. You know, it reminds me of the, and this is more not as liquidy, but of the maracuja. And that is how you say it, because I have relatives that immigrated to this wonderful country from Brazil. And um, you pronounce it not maracuja, it's maracuja, maracuja. Um, from Tarte and they have a new formulation like not formulation but like new packaging that's a little fancier I think some new shades and maybe they have like some enhancing um, type of lip treatment in some of them but oh, I love those but that's what it more like it feels like you know a little tacky not overly tacky this one comes more liquidy out that one is more stick like and solid but both of them love and this is a lovely shade again this is cameo very pinky so you know i'm enjoying this look right now um i'm going to now go in with a powder blush um, which one do i want i have a lot of them everything from at night um radiant magenta and now there's two different kinds that you're going to see on um, Iridescent Electrica. Um, there are the ones that are the ambient lighting, and then there are the ones that are the strobe lighting. Oh, Euphoric Fusion. I love this one. So these are all the ambient ones I have, I believe. Ambient, Luminous Flush. Ooh, Dim Fusion. Ethereal Glow. Ooh, this is a lovely one too. Iridescent Flash. So this one is a strobe lighting brush. This one is strobe lighting blush. And that one, those are just a little bit more glittery, glowy. So I think I'm going to do this one, Incandescent Electrica, which is also a strobe lighting blush. And, sorry, let me get out. I'm going to go with the Designer Pro by Sonia G. And... I'm gonna swirl around in here. And I think this is gonna go good with my kind of um, peachy base that I have down and the highlighter. And you can just see it just gives you this lovely, um, glowy blush color. Bright cheeked, cute. It's so nice. 
it is really really so nice <laughs> um there's something that i have to tell you about the blushes they are phenomenal no matter which one you get um as far as those two types the strobe and the ambient um they are just phenomenally beautiful they just blend so well they look so natural um it is they are just a high quality you know the milling on them is great um, I've never ever had a problem with any of those blushes and I mean I have a pretty extensive collection I have to excuse me reach back here I mean I have all of their for many 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 years their um, palette that comes out in the holidays and you know I always say yes to those because they're just phenomenal you know even if they're repeat shades so let's talk about some eyes, and I do not have any of the new palettes or um, shadows like that from Hourglass, but I do have, um, I do have their eyeshadow that is called the Scattered Light Eyeshadow, and how I think I'm going to use this is I'm going to go in with a Kajal from Chantecaille. And I am going to go along my lash line with this and oh baby, this needs to be sharpened. Um, I think in the industry one of the best cajals there is um, from Victoria Beckham and from Shantakai. Time to work with it. Time to smoke it out, but then it sets. So I need to get the brush, Sony G, Builder One, and I have time to work and blend. can use it in the waterline just fine. Lovely, lovely. Bring it up here a bit. Time to work and blend. That's a little too much. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the hourglass and the shade that I have. Um, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow for those of us that do that a uh, lovely shimmery not overly creamy but I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna use it as basically a one-and-done right on top of that cajole I'm gonna take a clean brush um, marker one from Sonia G Gonna kind of blend this all out here along the crease. Very lovely. Uh, you can use it with a brush too. I'm gonna take Sonia G work or smudger one. I'm just gonna put it on the lower lash line a bit. like so and then I'm going to take it in a little bit of depth to the outer corner like so okay what else can we do here with our hourglass we have to put a finishing powder on because it is after all hourglass Okay, let us see here. We have dim light, iridescent light, radiant light, the ambient lighting palette. So gorgeous, beautiful. And this one is the metallic strobe with absolute strobe light, true strobe light, and lucent strobe light. And I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to take 
a big fat brush from Ruffer. 25. Now I'm going to put them all together, just blend them all together. I'm just going to buff up. Take out any harsh lines, blend out for a lovely, lovely, glowy look. We are doing all that we can in hourglass today, and I don't like to venture too far, although I think I do have a sample of hourglass um, eyeshadow. I'm not quite sure where it is at this moment. I think it's in a bag. It's a smaller one. So I'm going in with my Chantecaille, my all-time favorite, Holy Grail. Voila! Better! Hourglass. Lovely, glowy, natural products that perform so beautifully. Thank you for stopping by and getting ready with me today with Hourglass. I think that the products are amazing, especially the blushes, the cream blush, all the um, the powders, all of the holiday palettes are still so lovely. I believe on Sephora they still have one of last one or two of last year's holiday palettes. Um, all is a win with Hourglass. Just beautiful, beautiful products. I hope you enjoyed it today. Um, I hope it is a good day for you. Please support this channel. Give it a thumbs up. Um, and I thank you for um, joining in the comment. What are your comments? What are your favorite hourglass products? Are you going to pick something up at the sale that starts tomorrow? 20% off.